Duff's creative license also appears to have extended to smaller players in the fabrication. One example is that of former AFP officer Roger Rathjen, who was entwined directly with Macaulay, for example. Another person who saw Eastwood's statement was Roger Rathjen and, the moment he did so, he warned Macaulay to pull the pin immediately. I said to him, look mate, they're onto you now, it's written down there in front of you, quit while you're ahead, but he just wouldn't listen. A volunteer for the Expendable project traced Mr. Rathjen, who was very clear about what Duff had produced, stating that it's a load of bullshit. He categorically denied any such interactions with Macaulay. He further stated that he hadn't even been interviewed by Duff. The Expendable Project's researchers have received similar responses from almost everyone contacted. For example, Andrew O'Shea is portrayed by Duff in the following terms. The following afternoon, Senior Constable Andrew O'Shea arrived at the property for a closer examination of the marijuana found when James was arrested. As a scenes of crime officer, he had been drafted into weigh, test and tally the cannabis present. I was directed to an area on top of a clothes dresser. At this location was a clip seal bag of green leaf material, GLM, and two coffee jars. Jar 1 contained coffee and 10 small bags of GLM. Jar 2 contained coffee and another 10 small clip seal bags containing GLM. The impression created by this unexplained quote is that Duff actually interviewed Mr. O'Shea firsthand. However, Mr. O'Shea categorically denied that he had ever spoken to Duff. Indeed, he had never heard of him. This ambiguity technique is a common feature of the book. Another example occurs with respect to Detective Sergeant Mark Andrews. Queensland Police Detective Sergeant Mark Andrews has since confirmed that on arrival he personally sat Macaulay down and during the course of an interview asked him about his involvement with the Corby. He essentially repeated the same story that had already been wheeled out. He refused to discuss it further and, subsequently, my inquiries ended there. When contacted by an expendable project researcher, Mr Andrews also confirmed that he had made no such statement to Duff. 